what we're going to do today, Brain. We are going to attempt to take the lawnmower blade off so that I can go take it with me when I get a new one. This blade is all nicked and messed up and dull. And if I have to mow any more yards, even three times before I would move, I need a new blade. You don't want this to move on you while you're trying to take this off. This is a, I believe it's a Craftsman lawnmower, and, and it's taking a 9 16th and tidy righty, righty tidy, lefty loosey. So to keep this thing from moving around, I could either use vice grips or, hmm, wait a minute, how is this going to work? I saw a guy on the internet do it. Let's see. Okay. Let's see if we can do this. Now I tried it and it said, okay, all right. Hey! It's working! Aha! Oh my gosh! This is awesome! A new feather in my cap. Well, I shouldn't be happy about it yet because it hasn't been changed out. And I haven't tried it with the new blade. Awesome! What is this? A label? Yes. It is a label from the old one. Okay, this is the old blade. Pretty pretty nicked up. I don't know if you can see any of these nicks on here. Pretty bad. A good eighth of an inch. It's messed up. I went to Menards. I got some things, but they didn't have the right kind of lawnmower blade, but I accidentally left the old blade in the cart. Um, well, at Walmart now. Hopefully they'll have one, otherwise I'm out of a lawnmower. Have to wait in line here too. They only had three blades left. I think the one that I had was a 22 inch, but this one is shaped just like it. And it says it will work on a Craftsman, so wish me luck. Notice how the checker doesn't have her mask on. She's like underneath her face and she's got these three inch eyelashes. Ugh. A lot of people in there, regardless. They have these things at the end of the aisles, go this way, don't enter this one, you have to go the other direction or something. People were not paying attention to that. People were not paying attention to social distancing or nothing. Half the people don't have masks. And the majority of those people are white people. Dumbass dumbasses. They're the ones that are going to make it harder for everyone. And for people that think that it's baloney and we don't need to do it, that's not so. When I get home, I'm going to wash up really well and wipe things down that I did get. And uh, hopefully this lawnmower blade will fit. I'll be very sad because I'm sure they've already thrown away the blade at the other place when they found it. Oh, an old blade. <laughs> and it was, it's, I could not have sharpened it, but I did get a file so that I can sharpen the real mower, the push mower, because it needs sharpening. So, and it's a nifty file. I like files. <laughs> Is that why you were a medical records coder? Because you like files? Different kind of file. <laughs> oh. I ordered one of those thermometer things in the mail through Amazon that where you don't have to touch a person. They're all sold out. I mean, I have a thermometer. You put it in your mouth and you have to wait. But 
kind of would have been nice to have one of those other ones because they work on, uh, you know, boiling water or whatever. You can see how hot something is, like a, a chair outside in the sun. It's going to be too hot to sit on. And I'm blithering. I'm sorry. It's very hot and humid, and I didn't bring any water with me. I am slursly. I'm slursly. Going to go home. Cat probably wonders what the hell happened to me because it's way late. It's what time is it? 6:30. I left at 3:30. Oh, man alive. It's supposed to rain again. It's been raining it rained this morning. It's supposed to rain tonight. Blah blah blah. Gonna go home and put that blade on. We'll see if it works. I hope it does. I hope it does. I'm gonna keep my toes crossed. Oh! Taking the back road home. So much more pleasant to go this way. Less traffic. You have to watch out for deer though. This road floods when it rains. Just after 7 p.m. Took quite a bit of time driving here and there and looking and looking and looking. Let's put this little fella on and see if it works. I held it up to the mower and it looks like it'll be the right way to put it on. So let's. Oh, and if you're going to replace a mower blade, it's stamped on there. It says on here, it's. Ah! On here, it says grass side. So that's the part that's down toward the grass. I don't know if you're supposed to do this, but it's got like paint. A painted edge so I'm just filing down the paint hey as sharp as a blade man it is sharp oh, it fits little knobs fit in there and this fits in here Tidy righty. Now to tighten it up, I put the wood on this side now. And I turn my wrench the other direction. Alrighty, time to put a little bit of gas in there and try it out. Well, here goes everything. sound right. It's a would-be trap. Somebody got in there and he can't get out. They're not the pollinating kind, don't worry about it. My blueberry plant, look! Little tiny baby blueberries. Woo My grapes? They're tasty. I don't know if they'll survive this year or what. Time went so quickly today, holy cow. Mr. Kitty, who's sitting back there near his dish, he's had some pieces of pork loin. That's what I'm having. Pork loin and sauerkraut with caraway seeds, gravy, potatoes, and, and carrots. Mm -mm -mm. And I'm Gutus Beer. It's a lager. And it's called Honey Brown. Honey Brown. <laughs> yeah. Mm. It's weird. I'm really not a drinker, but I've started drinking this stuff. Danger, danger. Yep, a week from today I go to the shrink. 
Will I remember all the trials and tribulations of this week? I better write them down. <laughs> Rain and dull and blah and humid and blah. Yeah, remember when you say blah, you have to stick your tongue out. Blah. <laughs> We're going upward and onward, aren't right, kitten? Yeah, upward and onward. 